Good morning. It's day 22 in our 22-day angel challenge. This is our last morning in this series, and this is our morning angel manifestation. Now, I don't have a plan. I you often, sometimes, sometimes I have a plan. I think about what I've been wanting to share with you, and I don't know what that might be today. So I thought that once again, I would just include you in my morning meditation. Good morning, Eugenia. I'm so happy to see you here. I know it's your nighttime. So I'm still just getting started in my morning and you're winding down and coming into the evening. I'm so happy to see you. So I'm going to share with you how I meditate once again. And we're going to start with how I set myself up. Because I have all of my stuff here. Let me show you what I have. I have my journal and a pen. I have my angel cards, I have my bowl, I have my selenite wands, my angel love book, my angel blessings and angel love cards. I always read with both cards. Angel blessings book, I have my archangel blessing sprays that Evelyn Mulders made for me with sound essence, my uh, pendulum, and I have my AHA archangel healing protocol book in case I feel called into an Archangel activation. So this is how I start my meditation. I gather all of my tools around me that I feel called to use. Oh, beloved Rena, hello, hello. And so when I have all my tools, then we start in prayer. So are you ready to start in prayer? Let's close our eyes and take a deep breath and just relax with a hand over our hearts. This is such a key point because the love that's in our hearts is the portal into our connection with the angels. So eyes closed, hand over your heart, breathe into your heart. And what is it that helps you to feel loved? You know, the truth is that for me, it's just love itself. Sometimes we need to think of a person or a place, but for me, it's just love itself. What is it for you? Oh, there it is. Can you feel that? And as I breathe into that love, I am viscerally transported into the pure presence of divine love. Can you feel that? It comes in with the breath, into our hearts with the breath. Pure, divine, ecstatic, exquisite love. From the source, unconditional, not tied to anyone or anything, pure love for love itself. Mm. Such ecstasy, such joy. So already we've connected with three angels, Hadraniel and the angels of love, the angels of ecstasy, the angels of joy. Can you feel that? We've connected with the angel of infusion, infusing us with the pure presence of the divine. So you don't need to have cards. Arlen, hello Arlen, I'm so happy you're here with me. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. Breathe in that pure, unconditional, unattached love. And let it illuminate every cell of your body. See, here's another angel. Illumination. Oh, and another angel. Vibration. As I speak with my hand on my heart, I feel the vibration of love. 
purring, vibrating through my body, carrying the essence, the vibration of love through to every cell in my body. I can feel this love vibrating through my blood, through my lymph systems, through my bones, through my muscles and my glands and organs as my voice vibrates in love. Can you feel that? This love is the gateway to the divine. Oh, Linda, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. This love is the gateway to the divine. When we begin with love, we elevate our consciousness. We raise our consciousness. We get into the elevator to God, the elevator to the divine. And we approach our meditation from a completely different place than if we're or poor me, boo-hoo, woe is me, look at this situation I don't like. <laughs> Can you feel the difference? What do you want, pure love or poor me? <laughs> I, I think pure love is it for me. <laughs> so pure love, pure love. That's where we want to start our meditation. We're starting in the embrace of our true self, our master self. We're starting in the embrace of divine love, God's love and God's presence. That is a much different starting place. Can you feel it? To feel this vibration just hum, or om, or home. Each of those are seed vibrations that carry us to this same place, or even shalom. Whatever the seed word is for you, the word that vibrates with your heart and soul, And feel the pleasure, the sweetness, here we are with more angels, the sweetness, the tenderness, the delight of this presence of love. From here, from this connection, this is where you explore what is it that you need to manifest next. What's most important could be anything. Family, business, money, home, health, anything, spirit, anything. What is it that you need to focus on more than anything else right now? What do you need to heal or solve or discover? What do you need to create? Oh, beloved Saxon, I'm so happy that you're here with us. Oh, the seraphim just joined us with you. You brought in all of the seraphim. Thank you, sweet Reverend Saxon. Now that we have this connection of unconditional love with the archangels, with the seraphim, with our guardian angels, our sweet teams of angels, with divine, pure, unconditional love, what is it that you need to co-create or manifest, or solve, or heal, or discover, or explore today, or tonight, for you, Eugenia, and everyone else who's on the other side of the world during this live broadcast for me. That would be Europe and Asia, that side. Mm. Oh, thank you for your love, Saxon. I love you so much. So what is it that you're focusing on? For Saxon, it's nighttime too. What is it that you're focusing on right now that you need more than anything? Let it fill your heart with love, with joy, with celebration, with devotion, with respect, with honor. 
you might not know. It's okay. You don't need to know. You could be just wondering, show me what you want for me, my beloved. That could be it. So now with this focus in our hearts, I'm going to switch back. I can't get these messages, so I'm going to put on the glasses. There's something from Arlen here I can't see. Arlen. Oh, thank you, Arlen. Thank you, Rena. Oh, thank you, Rena. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Oh, what was that one? Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So now with that focus in our hearts, whatever it might be for you, these cards are for you. Whatever's coming next is for you. So, oh, love the hearts. So I'm just, this is what I do. I fan my cards out. This is one way I do it. Fan my cards out. And then, um, I don't know why my right hand, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes I use my left. Uh, some angel teachers say you have to do it a particular way. But, oh, Melissa, hello. But I don't think it matters. I, I do it every different way. I just trust what's right in the moment. And so now i got to stop talking because my mind is interfering. So I'm tuning into you. I'm tuning into me. Mm. And I'm just exploring. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Maybe there's one. Yeah, I want to look at it. Who is it? 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 Sometimes I have to feel both sides. It's kind of funny. That one. So I'm cupping. Sometimes I cup my fingers around. Is there one more? No, three. Okay, three. That's good today. You know, sometimes it's more. Sometimes it's less. I pay attention to what order they came in because sometimes it makes a formula. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Oh, forgiveness is constant, isn't it? So who is it that you need to forgive? Do you need to forgive yourself for something? Is there someone else or a situation that you need to forgive? Have you had ex unreasonable expectations of yourself or someone else that you need to forgive? Has your mind created a story that wasn't real and it was a shock? to the system, a tremendous disappointment and painful to discover that the story you'd made up wasn't real. I just went through that this last week. So let's take a moment now to forgive, to forgive ourselves, to forgive the situation, to forgive any stories we made up, to forgive the other person for not um, engaging in our story or our expectation. Whatever the situation may be for you, let's just simply lay it down, walk away, and let it go. Trusting that something more amazing will come from it. So for me, I thought this particular situation was a godsend. I thought it was a solution. And what I've had to do is to realize that God is the source of everything, of abundance, of solutions, of guidance, of wisdom. Not these people that I thought were going to be the vessel. So that as I let go, as I forgive the situation, as I forgive myself, as I forgive them, I open my heart and life and receptivity to a new source, a new vessel for the source, for God to deliver goodness to me through. Can you see how it works? When we can let go of what we thought it might be, to really lay it down, to put it down, like, uh, let's see, let me see here. So in this picture, we've got this little fellow here. 
The angels are holding him up, and he's emptied his hands. Look at his hands. And uh, the seraphim angels are carrying him upward. He's emptied his hands. These beautiful seraphim angels are carrying him upward. He's he's looking up. He's he's stripped down. He's emptied his hands. He's stripped down. And he is open to receive. He's let go. He is open to receive whatever it is that the angels are taking him into from source. And that's us. We strip away whatever it is we've been clinging to that we think might be it and we've discovered it isn't. And with no judgment, we just put it down. We lay it down and we go on. So where are we going on to? Encouragement. Once again, with a hand on our hearts, looking up toward the heavens, the angel is kneeling in humility, with golden light taking our hand, pointing the way for us into the heavens where the divine, the source of all that is, has abundance. The source of abundance has all that we need for whatever it is that's next, that we need to co-create or manifest and is encouraging us, giving us the encouragement for fulfillment. The encouragement for fulfillment. And from our angel love cards, Amatiel, the angel of truth, is bringing in the orb of truth and the scepter of power. Bringing us everything that we need, the wisdom, the authority, the blessings, the gratitude, everything that we need is coming in from our blessed Amatiel, the angel of truth. Truth it is. The truth is that we are loved. We are appreciated. We are treasured. We are the blessing and the gift. Mm. So with that said, what is it for you? Let's close our eyes for a moment and come into this meditation. Close our eyes, put our hands over our hearts. Close our eyes, put our hands over our hearts, and once again, breathe into love. Let go whatever it is we've been clinging to that isn't it. Open to encouragement from the divine and open to receive the source, truth, pure truth, pure, unconditional love and truth from the source, knowing that it is going to come in an absolute perfect way, in perfect divine timing, through the perfect vessel here on earth, to you, to satisfy all of your needs and desires in your co-creative process with the divine. Oh, the chi is lifting, my nose is itching. This is always a good sign. And so we receive. Oh, I'm tingling. I'm vibrating. I'm alive. I feel like I'm glowing with that golden radiance from our in encouragement card, that golden radiance. I'm glowing. I feel myself glowing in that golden radiance. How about you? Are you glowing in a particular color? Can you feel the vibration of this radiance? So with this, we claim, and so it is, as we continue to receive. Don't stop here. Continue to receive. And I encourage you to get your journal. Remember, I have my journal right here. Have my journal. This is, this is the kind of journal I like to use. I like blank pages. I don't like to be constrained by lines. And I like these big bound art journals. And so I can receive messages and put, write out my prayers and write out whatever it is I might be releasing or letting go of. Write out, I write out what I'm frustrated with. Sometimes I draw pictures and I use colors. So this is my journal. It, it, is, my, it is my record of my prayer and meditation. And my themes for each year, like my theme for this year is Oneness, connection, success, abundance, and mastery. What is your theme for this year? 
So get your blank page and your, the right color. Journal about whatever this experience has been for you and what are your next steps. And then do it, do it, do it. Co-create with the angels. Manifest amazingness. Manifest your muchness in the world. You are so needed. I love you. See you tonight.